Yo, what's up, everybody? So I'm still going in on these people, these dumbass comments. What I was trying to say, what I was saying about like Hollywood, I was saying like every day people get caught up in about what they're doing in Hollywood, and I was saying that Hollywood is all bullshit. And what I was what I was implying is that most of the people that you see on Hollywood, they be looking so they be looking so good, and that the people idolize. You know, be having on tons of makeup and shit and dyed hair. I, I was saying, if you like in your late 40s, I was saying, if you're in your late 40s, you're more than likely gonna have like a lot of gray hair or gray hair. Maybe not a lot, but you're gonna have gray. But these people in Hollywood that be on the stage be having jet black hair. They be putting some dye and some shit in their hair. That's why I was saying Steve Harvey had a perfect afro back in the days. But that, come to find out it was a wig. Uh, who else wears a wig uh, or painted hair? Uh, who was that guy? DL, not DL Hughley. Oh, I can't think of that guy. He always got, uh, Jamie Foxx always got perfect, got a perfect hairline. Them guys be having paint in their hair, man. Them guys be gray. Gray as hell. With painted hair, and then you never know. They be they be wearing disguises and shit, cause they don't want to be seen. You know, knowing who they are in the public. If you saw the average celebrity walking on the street with no makeup and shit on, you probably wouldn't even know who he was, cause the celebrities walk up and down the street all day in New York City, especially in the Village. I used to run into celebrities all the time. I ran into Chris Rock one time, and he had an attitude. Fuck Chris Rock. You know, guys be getting that. They everyday people just like you and me. That's why it's the same thing when guys be sweating girls. Girls be having on tons of makeup and shit. You don't know. Like I be telling you, see a girl and she looks super good. You don't know who the fuck she is. <clears throat> you don't know if it's a man or a woman. Because everybody be having fake, fake butt, fake titty, fake hair. They have everything fake. You don't know who's what. You see a girl that look too perfect, sometimes something ain't right. Cause all, all humans got flaws. I got this crooked ass tooth. All humans got flaws, nobody's perfect. And if you show me the prettiest girl in the world, I'll show you a guy that's tired of sleeping with her. That's what happened, like I keep telling you another subject, I'll be saying most relationships don't last because the man cannot keep up with his woman's sex drive. The hole lasts longer than the pole. That's what I was saying. And what, and what Jada Pickett do? She went and found a younger man. And then people be talking about they sex addicts. You're not a sex addict. You just you just like sex, which everybody does. But society tries to is wrong because society deems it wrong, but it's not wrong. But we live in a society where you got bills to pay and you can't live above your means because if you start having sex, you're gonna start making babies and you gotta feed them babies. That's just the kind of society we live in. But we ain't live, if we didn't live in a society like that, or if you was wealthy, you could make as many babies as you want as long as you can feed them and take care of them. That's how it was when people had their own land. They could have as many babies as they wanted. They had land. Shit, all you gotta do is they put them on the farm. <clears throat> but it ain't like that no more. So you can't be having all these children because you can't feed them. Yeah, that's how it is. But they take the, people talk about they sex addicts. You're not a sex addict. What, shit, why they call hookers sex addicts? Well, hookers is out there selling their body for money. And like I told you, she, the hooker ain't interested in the money. If she, if she was interested in the money, she would keep the money. But she saw her body and get her money to a pep, and then people say, well, she was scared. In some instances, yeah, that could be true. But what about these women today that do it? And they don't have a pep. And they strippers and shit. They do it for the money. They make your money, and they get to meet men. They get to meet as many men as they want. It, it's only, the only reason people get mad, men get mad at women that are promiscuous is because they can't be promiscuous. And they jealous, that's all it is. They be jealous of the woman because she promiscuous, because she like to sleep around. But she get tired of you, shit. Jada Pinkett got tired of Will Smith. It's real, man, everything is real. And the only reason, only reason it 